I've been attending First Baptist Menden since I was born, so it wasn't really that hard to get involved with our youth ministry. So I got a chance to come Wednesday, and from then on, started coming regularly. I was born into the church, grew up here. I just kind of grew up in this church, and just it was a normal kind of transition from the children's ministry to the youth. Uh, when we moved back from the mission field, uh, we had a bunch of uh, friends who were already a part of this church, and so it just kind of felt right for us to be a part of it. When I moved up here from Bozier to around the Sibley area, uh, my mom found a church called uh, Lakeside Fellowship where the pastor, Lane Langford, was there, and it was connected to uh, First Baptist Men. But uh, I love being here for the past 18 years of my life, and it's been really great. Our First Baptist Mini Youth Group has really been like a second family to me. It has just opened my mind to all the things that the Bible has for me and that God has for me and helped me to really just mature in my faith. I would say that uh, the student ministry here has affected my life uh, in countless ways, really. Uh, it's just been uh, great for uh, really growing my faith. I'd say it's taught me a lot about like growing through Christ and being mission-minded above everything else. They gave me a learning experience. I got a chance to learn and eventually got a chance to serve. We're all friends. We're all around each other all the time. We annoy each other, but we love each other. We've been on many mission trips and they have completely changed my life. During D-Now, we get to do our little mission projects, and during mission trips, I get a chance to um, help um, with whatever we have planned. My favorite way I've been able to serve recently is through leading small groups on Wednesday nights. I've really liked getting to pour into people that are younger than me and my age. Everything from the small mission projects ACT teams do to the larger mission trips, such as Alaska and uh, upcoming soon New York. Um, I've had so many great opportunities to serve while I've been here. Uh, about two years ago, we went on a mission trip to uh, Alabama. We went to the beach and we were passing out water bottles with scriptures on it. And we just passed them out to anybody who looked like they were thirsty. I was able to serve in the community and teach others about God and show Him there is a place to come if they always need a church. My favorite memory has always been dinner theater. I didn't know D-Now went on until Sunday. So I came in and everybody was already sitting there. And um, one of the seniors that year went, hey, there's Kivo, and everyone started cheering and clapping for me. Passion was a great time. Like I loved being around all of those people and it just really made me feel like I wasn't alone in my walk. Like I could, I could go there and I could see that all of these people were going after the Lord and that they were really ready to do something for God. And it was just a great experience to see that. I've gained so much confidence over the years, just being able to act and be a different character. I'd say, honestly, combined just about every church trip I've been on, and that's my favorite memory, getting to spend time with um, all of my friends and get to go on mission trips or go to summer camps, drive 12 hours on a bus to Colorado. This year was pretty awesome because um, I like the music. I really love music and the music indie now this year was just amazing. I definitely have to say one of my favorite memories about being in our first Baptist Men and Youth group would be on our trip to Alaska when we were driving up to Seward to see the exit glacier. We kept counting the moose we'd see and it was really fun because we'd name all of them and make up little backstories for them. <laughs> As I go off to college, I hope that God gives me a support group similar to what I've had here. I hope that He puts people in my life to call me out on things and encourage me and push me to get out of my comfort zone to serve Him. I really hope that God tests me to really experience what it means to fully trust in Him. So I'm really hoping to give my all into Him and to lean on Him in every situation. I want the Lord to really grow me in my reliance on Him, solely focus on him and on what his plan is for my life. Acting has always been my passion and I would really love God to use me in like a Christian film. That's a ministry in itself that people get to experience that. Um, I would like to become closer to him and be able to be comfortable spreading his word and not being pressured by the crowd to fit in. 
Me personally, I really like to invest in people. So over the next four years at whatever college I end up going to, I'd really like to see God open a door for me to get the opportunity to just pour into people and um, show them God's love and mercy in this hurting world. I feel like that's what people really need. And so I hope that I'll be able to give the chance to do that. I guess I'd have to say probably I want my relationship with him to grow stronger and stronger each year and just to be able to get closer to him and be able to spread the gospel to other people and share the love that he's shown me with everyone else. Don't let anyone. Don't let anyone. Don't let anyone. Don't let anyone look down on you. Because you are young. Because you are young. But set an example for the believers. But set an example for the believers. But set an example for the believers. In speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. First Timothy. First Timothy. Four. Twelve.